Marth, the Hero King. Lucina, the Time-Traveling Princess. Roy, the Young Lion. Three protagonists from three eras of Fire Emblem games finally able to all duke it out in Smash. The three characters in Smash with the most in common with both Roy and Lucina's movesets based on Marth's. Lucina a clone, and Roy a near semi-clone. Today on Clone Wars, we're going to be going over their attacks, strategies, combos, and overall differences in these characters to find out which one is the best, or at least, the best one suited for you. This video was made in the 1.08 version of the game and will represent the characters in that state. Marth and Roy stand at the same height, with Lucina a bit shorter. This means Lucina's hurt box is smaller, but she also has less range. Even though Roy is now as tall as Marth, he overall has less range due to his reduced hitbox sizes and altered placements of his sword attacks, as he on many attacks, attacks backhandedly or with two hands. Marth and Lucina are identical in weight and speed, with Roy being heavier with also a faster fall speed. The main difference in these three sword fighters lies in their swords. Marth's Falchion, Lucina's Parallel Falchion, and Roy's Sword of Seals, each with their own damage mechanics that are indicated in their sword trails, showing where each of their sweet spots are. Marth's sweet spot is at the tip of his sword, Roy's sweet spot is near the hilt of his blade, and Lucina's sword does the same damage and knockback throughout her sword. As a rule of thumb, Lucina's attacks will do 12.5% more damage than Marth or Roy's sour spotted attacks. A sweet spotted attack by Roy or Marth, however, will do 25% more damage and knockback. This key difference between the three sets up for their differences in both damage output and kill power. As far as kill moves go, here is how they stack up in a controlled environment mid-stage against Robin. Keep in mind that in training mode there is no rage effect or staling, so every attack will be at 1.00 times knockback. Mars forward smash kills as soon as 40% when tippered, and 91% untippered. Lucina's forward smash kills as early as 67%. Roy's forward smash sweet spotted kills at 47% and regularly at 64%. Marth's up smash kills at 73%, Lucina's at 67 and Roy's at 65%. Marth's down smash kills at 93% tippered, 177 sour spotted, and on the backswing, kills as soon as 56% tippered and 85% sour spotted. Lucina's down smash kills at 108% and 76% on the backswing. Roy's down smash kills at 91% and 72% on the backswing. Marth's forward tilt kills at 135%, Lucina's at 185%, and Roy's kills at 120%. Marth's up tilt kills at 127% tippered and 181% untippered. Lucina's up tilt kills at 166%, and Roy's kills sweet spotted at 120%. Marth's dash attack kills at 194% tippered. Roy's dash attack kills at 144% sweet spotted, and Lucina's doesn't kill at any relevant percent. Marth's up throw kills at 167%, Lucina's 1% later at 168, and Roy's kills at 173%. Neutral special for Marth kills fully charged at 39% tippered and 75% untippered. Lucina's kills at 56%, and Roy's fully charged kills at 0% because the damn thing erupts. Marth's up special kills at 152% and the same with Lucina. Roy's kills at 109%. While fully charged attacks are not commonplace, the results are indicative to the difference in each character's kill power. There are also many differences within their special attacks. Neutral special for Marth and Lucina is Shield Breaker, a chargeable move that does massive shield damage and also a great kill move. Roy's neutral special, Fire Blade, is also a chargeable attack, albeit with less range and shield damage, but deals massive damage and knockback depending on charge. Fully charged, the attack does 10% recoil damage to Roy, and if connected on an opponent is a one-hit KO against any character at any percent on any stage without a roof. Side special for Marth and Lucina is Dancing Blade that has three different variations, up, side, and down. 
each with their different finisher. Roy's side special, Double Edge Dance, is like Dancing Blade, but with each hit either being able to go up, side, or down, giving him 18 different possibilities in this attack. Double Edge Dance is stronger than Dancing Blade, but slower, making it harder to hit your opponent with all hits of the attack. Up special for Marth and Lucina is Dolphin Slash, and for Roy, it's Blazer. Blazer is slower than Dolphin Slash, but multi-hit and more knockback. While not as much vertical recovery, Blazer can be angled laterally for more horizontal recovery, and carries more horizontal momentum near its peak. Aerial-wise, all sword fighters spike with down air. For Marth and Lucina, they both have to be the tipper of the attack in the middle of the attack to Meteor. Roy's Meteors when sweet spotted at the base of his blade. Roy's neutral air has less landing lag, auto cancelling on the first hit for many follow ups thanks to his shorter short hop than both Marth and Lucina. While all of their forward aerials are similar, Roy's has quicker IASA frames, meaning he can interrupt his attack with another input faster, leading to more follow ups and mix ups. The same can be said about his neutral special, as you can input out of it much faster than Martha Lucina's Shield Breaker. So let's see how these three stack up against one another. Jab goes to Roy. While it does not have the reach of Martha Lucina's, it hits faster, will do more damage, easily combos into itself, and sets up for more follow-ups in his grab, tilts, and specials. Second goes to Marth for the greater range over Lucina, and hit lag modifiers that Lucina's attacks do not have. Dash attack goes to Roy. It kills around 50% sooner than Marth's, and is easier to sweet spot. Second goes to Marth because Lucina's can't kill at a useful percent. Tilts goes to Roy. His forward and up tilt kill sooner than Marth's, and are more likely and easier to sweet spot. Neutral special goes to Lucina. Shield Breaker finds more use, charges faster than Fire Blade, and has greater range. While tippered, it will do more damage and kill sooner, it's typically not a move you tipper, and does massive shield damage regardless, so Lucina's will effectively do more damage and kill sooner in most cases. Side Special is close, but a small advantage to Lucina because she will do more damage on average than Marth, due to him needing tippers to get the damage in knockback to outpace Lucina, and tippers are not something you will get out of Dancing Blade in the vast majority of cases due to the nature of the attack. Double Edge Dance is slower than Dancing Blade, therefore harder to hit. Down Special goes to Marth and Lucina. While Roy's counter scales with power on the countered attack to deal more damage, Roy's counter activates 3 frames later. His counter window is 2 frames less, and has more lag than Marth and Lucina's, whom share identical counters. Up Special goes to Roy. It kills much, MUCH earlier, is multi-hit, has longer active hitboxes making it offensively better from the air as well as the ground, with its bigger hitbox and more lateral movement making it easier to hit your opponent and does more damage. Aerials goes to Roy. Marth and Lucina's down air spike has only one frame to Meteor in the very middle of the attack, making it very specific, while Roy's just has the sweet spot at the base of his blade in a much quicker attack. Roy's fair has better IASA frames, and it auto cancels sooner. Second goes to Marth for the greater reach and tippered damage. Low percent kills goes to Marth for his tippered force match killing a bit sooner than Roy's, and Shield Breaker charging faster and easier to hit than Roy's Fire Blade. Second goes to Roy, for his forward and up smash killing sooner than Lucina's. High percent kills goes to Roy, for killing sooner on his tilts, dash attack, and up special. Second goes to Lucina, for killing with smash attacks and Shield Breaker on average sooner since her base knockback is higher than Marth's, and a tipper isn't required at high percents. Forward Smash. Slight advantage Marth. Marth's tippered smash only kills a little bit sooner than Roy's forward smash, but has greater reach for edge guarding kills. Up Smash goes to Roy. It's multi hit for more damage, frame traps, and kills sooner. Second goes to Lucina, because she will kill sooner almost all of the time, because this attack rarely tippers. Down Smash slightly favors Lucina, because this attack will rarely tipper, so she will kill with it on average more often, but it is otherwise negligible. Marth is second because it's faster than Roy's on both sides of the attack. Edge Guarding goes to Marth for his greater reach than Lucina, and his forward smash will most likely cover anyone that Roy's Fire Blade would hit, albeit with less force if charged, but easier to time than a charged Fire Blade. 
Second goes to Lucina because of Shield Breaker and faster counter. Throws goes to Roy. His throws have a much better combo potential, can jab reset, and sets up easy tech chases. Marth and Lucina's throw game have negligible differences, so they tie. On shield goes to Marth, because Lucina lacks hit modifiers on her attacks. Second goes to Lucina, because of shield breaker. Punish game goes to Roy. He has more throw combo potential, kills sooner with smashes, tilts, dash attack, and plus fire blade kills anything fully charged, and does more damage than Shield Breaker even when not fully charged. Recovery will call a tie. Roy's Blazer gives him more horizontal recovery than Martha and Lucina, but Martha and Lucina have better vertical recovery and can use Shield Breaker to give them a tiny horizontal push, so it's all very situational. Each character has their strength over the other two, so there's a lot to go around. Each character fights differently. Martha and Lucina share the most similarities, boiling down mostly to Marth's Tipper for more possible damage and knockback for earlier kills, and Lucina for more consistent damage and easier to get kills with at later percents. Due to Lucina not needing a tipper to do her best, she can be a much more aggressive character than Marth, and could do better in certain matchups because of that. While Marth and Lucina are both melee spacers that have to play reactively to their opponent, Roy is the opposite. With Roy's speed, throw combos, juggling, and increased damage and knockback at close range, he's a rushdown character that can instigate the fight and dictate the pace of the game a little more than Marth and Lucina. He has higher knockback on a lot of his attacks, so he must rely on his low knockback attacks to combo and his higher knockback attacks to get them in the air for juggles and to ultimately get his kills. Marth and Lucina can space much better as Roy's sword won't usually extend as far out, and his attacks are weakest at the tip, forcing him to get close to get his kills, which can be risky. But Roy has better approach options with his aerials to break neutral and start his onslaught. So which one is better? As always, that will come up to personal preference and whom you individually perform better with. The jury is still out for the general consensus that has always historically favored Marth in the past, but with the plethora of buffs that Roy got in his return, a lot of people see him as a potentially a high tier character, which would put him well above the other two that have shown little to no success competitively so far. So maybe this might be Roy's time to shine in the spotlight. With developments in the metagame and further patches in the game, we will see, but it seems quite clear that Roy might have a higher ceiling than his predecessors. Personally, I perform significantly better with Lucina than the other two but I see Roy's potential and he has a chance at overtaking her in the future. So which do you prefer? The tipper, the base, or the consistency? The hero king, the young lion, or the princess? Some are sticking with their OG main. Some are glad to see their boy is back and better than ever. And some just want to play with their waifu. Try them all out and see who you perform better with. Respect others' choices and above all, have fun. Thank you all for watching this incredibly extensive and much requested video. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos and I'm thankful you enjoyed them. If you would like to see an analysis on the other clones in the game, check out the other videos in this series. And if you want more information on a specific character mentioned in this video, check out their individual For Glory guides. If you like this video and think others will too, consider rating the video or sharing it, and subscribe for future endeavors. Next time we're going to the pits, and I will see you then.